Hello everyone, welcome to the world of software testing. So in the last lecture, we have covered unit testing concepts. So we'll discuss about component testing in this lecture. So what is component testing? So component testing is defined as a software testing type in which the testing is performed on each individual component separately without integrating with the other components. The component testing is also known as module testing and component testing is performed by the testing en test engineers. So this is a software testing type in which the testing is performed on an individual component. It is not integrated with any of the other components and then tested. So it is tested individually, separately we can say. The component is nothing but a lowest unit of any application. So the component testing as the name suggests is a technique of testing the lowest or the smallest unit of any application. So generally any software application include lot of many small individual modules. So before going for testing the complete application it is better to test the individual modules or the component or the smallest unit of the application first and then we can go for testing the integrated one. So in case of component testing, each of the module or unit is tested independently. Each of the unit is passed as an input, passed an input and output is generally by the unit. It is generated by the unit and this output is compared with the expected output. So again, if the actual output is, is matching with the expected output, then we can say that it is passed or if the out actual output is not matching with the expected output then we can see that it is failed. The software applications are huge in terms of many modules and it's very difficult to test the entire system once. So before going for further testing such as functional testing, integration testing, system testing, it's better or recommended to perform the component testing first and then go for the functional or integration testing. So this is the component testing. Component testing is defined as a software testing type in which the testing is performed on individual components separately without integrating with the other component. So this is an example of Facebook page. We can say uh, this is a create an account. So sign up page is there. So you can see there are small components here. So in this screenshot, uh, we can see different components or the small units such as the first name, that is the first name text box, the first name text box, then the surname text box, again mobile number or email address, then a new password uh, text box here and there are a lot of uh, drop downs as well, this is the date, month and year, then this is the radio button, gender radio buttons are here and then again sign up buttons are there so there are a lot of uh, components on this uh, facebook sign up page available so each field act as a component here so if you consider just a first name here it is act as a one component this is a small one component this is a second component so we have almost a lot of uh, components on this simple sign up page here and to test these components termed as a component testing. So here, if we are testing this particular uh, first name only, first name text box only, then we can say that this we are testing the component, component here, specific component, and it is termed as a component testing. So for example, if the requirement is the first name should be only alphabets and should be maximum of 10 characters and should not be any spe special characters. So as a tester, we need to test these fields with the positive and negative scenarios. So here, let's say uh, this is a scenario or this is a requirement or client expectation that the first name should be only alphabets, alphabets and should be maximum of 10 characters. So maximum length is 10 characters and it should not have any special characters. So here we can apply the input domain testing here. We can we can perform the input domain testing. So we'll go through this in our upcoming lectures and then 
based on that we can we can perform the component testing for this particular text box only with the first name the second example is for the mobile number so here for mo every mobile number only 10 here sorry uh, 10 digits are mandatory right so there must be a 10 digit number if it is a mobile number so as a tester we need to test this field with a positive as well as negative scenario for example try passing the digits more than 10 or less than 10 so if it is a 10 digit requirement then we can we can try passing let's say uh, 6 or or if you apply the boundary value analysis here then 10 minus 1 then 10 in this way we can we can 10 plus 1 and then this is 10 and similarly uh, for the minimum one let it zero we can say that is that is not this is maximum 10 so that must be 10 only so so we can we can test this one so if we pass the number number digits 10 digit number it term as a positive scenario or positive testing we can say and if we pass more than 10 digits let's say if we pass 12 digit number here then it is termed as a negative scenarios or negative testing so if you try to pass the valid numbers then it should accept that number and if you try to pass an invalid number that is more than 10 digits or less than 10 digits then it should not accept those numbers so the main main goal of component testing is to validate the input output performance of the test object and also make sure the specified test object functionality is working fine as per the needed requirement or specification so for the, for the a, 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 this testing only works as a component basis so for every component we are applying the applying the specific requirements and we are getting the speci specific out of it output of it so the main goal of component testing is to validate the input output performance of the test object so this is a test object for us in case of component testing so what are the major inputs for the component testing so the first is test plan the system requirements component specifications and component implementations so this is these are the major inputs required for the component testing so now let's understand when we need to perform the component testing so the component testing is performed after the unit testing if you if you see the v model then you can understand uh, we need to perform the component testing after the unit testing in the validation phase the components are tested as soon as they are created so there are chances that the results retrieved from the component under test are dependent on other components which in turn are yet to be developed as of now depending on the software development lifecycle model the component testing may be performed in isolation with other components of the system the isolation is done to prevent the external influences the, the third point is so the test to test that component we use stops and drivers for simulating the interfaces between the software components so the stops and drivers will discuss in the integration testing part so the integration testing is done after the component testing so what are the component testing test strategies so there are two test strategies depending upon the depth of testing level component testing is divided into two parts so the first is component testing in small that is ctis and the second one is component testing in large so when the component testing is done in isolation with the other components it is called as component testing in small this is done without considering integration with the other components and the second one is that is component testing in large when the component testing is done without isolation with other element other components of the software then it is called as component testing in large this happens when there is dependency on functionality flow of the component and thus we can't isolate them so this is component testing in 
large that is CTIL. So these are the two test strategies for component testing. So that's it for component testing. So thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe our YouTube channel for such more videos and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates. In the upcoming lectures, we'll dig further into the software testing concepts with the new next level of testing. So thanks for watching.